The spiralling whitefly might be small, but the insect's potential to devastate the Top End's horticultural industry and backyard gardens is huge. It's no surprise then that a parasitic wasp that's successfully controlling the pest is being welcomed with open arms. As far as biological controls measure up, scientists say the wasp pr presents little risk to other plants because it's host specific. Claire Mackey has this story. These ones are very small but they're very hot. Mark Christie grows chilies in his Darwin backyard and harvests them to make sauce. Obviously the redder the better, they contain the most amount of vitamin C and beta carotene uh, and also um, they've got the most flavour. Generally a day after they've turned red is when you pick them. Generally they're only stored for a day before being blended. The self-proclaimed chilli fanatic inherited the interest from his father and is now passing on the love of chilies to his own son. Okay. There are 28 chilies. 28 chilies, that's great. Well, I think that's enough, mate. But last year, the Christie family's backyard chilli venture suffered a setback. Well, I'd read about it and heard about it, and then all of a sudden, oh my dear, you know, <laughs> I'm suddenly infected with this spiralling whitefly. And it was fairly quick in taking over a lot of the plants. The underside of the leaves had these small white spirals. They become white and fluffy around these spiral dots. And then, of course, the telltale signs of the spiralling whitefly is it flies around rather ungainly around the leaves. Scientists at the Department of Primary Industries found the pest in the top end in early 2006. The spiralling whitefly is a sucking insect, um, a bit like a small mealybug. It feeds on the sap of plants, generally found on the leaves, but also on the fruit as well. The immature stages look like um, oval type scales, they're soft bodied, um, yellow to green in colour, covered in wax, and the adults um, look like a small moth. Unfortunately, many of the plants vulnerable to the spiralling white fly are backyard favourites in the top end, including bananas and pawpaws, and the pest is now familiar to gardeners across Darwin and the rural area. It causes the leaves to, to wilt um, and look a bit distorted if the infestation is quite severe. If seedlings or young herbs are attacked, then um, it could lead to plant death. Entomologist Dr Brian Thistleton was well acquainted with the pest before it arrived in the top end. He's been tracking its spread across the world from the Caribbean since the 1970s and had a first-hand knowledge of how to combat the problem using a biological control, a parasitic wasp known as Incarsia. I was involved with the uh, introduction of the parasite when I was working in the South Pacific, and I, I introduced it into a number of countries, Solomon Islands and Cook Islands. But on a recent visit at Christmas, I only saw one plant with white fly on, so it's been very, very effective. The wasp kills the white fly by laying eggs inside the white fly larvae. <laughs> Marinda Sharp's Humpty Doo property was one of the first to try the biocontrol after her expansive garden was seriously infested with white fly. It was starting to spread to plants that even primary industries hadn't seen it affecting before, which was really bothering me because I thought, well, how far is it going to go? Oh, this looks like a pretty good spot. We'll hang this one here. What do you reckon, Marinda? Scientists released the minute parasitic wasps last year at several locations. They've been monitoring the results and Marinda Sharp says it looks like the spiralling white fly has been beaten. Well, I don't see really any evidence and I'm still running around quickly looking under leaves to see if I'm going to catch it somewhere. But I mean, the little, the minute amount of it I do see, I can see the little black wasp in it. Compared to how it was, it was just like... It was just like a plague, it was just over everything. And so far, this form of biocontrol is also working in Darwin backyards with little or no risk to other plants. It may attack other species of whitefly, but it won't go on to any other, um, it won't attack another organism because they are very um, host specific. So they will spread naturally, um, and in you know, the next, next few months, as the whitefly spreads, the parasite will spread with it. For weekend gardeners like Mark Christie, evidence the natural approach works has green thumbs twitching once again. And if there's a natural way to actually deal with it, then 
uh, that's the path to go down and, and I went with that and stuck with it and luckily it's, it's actually borne fruit, quite literally. The Incarcia wasp is now my friend. <laughs> And that's the program.